This Good To Go segment is made possible by Spectrum Health Medical Group. Here's an interesting statistic. Did you know that approximately one in every 100 children is born with a heart defect? That makes it the most common birth defect. Many times that defect can be identified in utero and allow parents to get the care the child needs right from birth. The Congenital Heart Center at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital has offered that expertise for the past 20 years. I got a chance to learn more from Dr. Heather Sawinski, a pediatric cardiologist who specializes in fetal cardiology. She started by explaining what fetal cardiology is. So fetal cardiology is a specialized ultrasound of the heart that uh, focuses on the anatomy to help detect a, a birth defect. Mm. Okay, so tell me about the program at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital and how that works in terms of intervening in these circumstances. So we've been, like you mentioned, around for about 20 years now. Uh, generally what happens is uh, OB will do an ultrasound of the baby around 18 to 20 weeks to look at the anatomy. Mm -hmm. If there's any concerns about the heart, they will then refer them to a maternal fetal medicine doctor who would refer them to us to do a fetal echo. So that original testing, that it happens with every pregnancy, it does. so that then if there's any kind of an abnormality that just appears to be that way, then for safety and precaution, they get referred on. Exactly. And there also are specialized groups where the risk of having a baby with a heart defect is a little higher than general population. So those two, those people as well would be referred. So what would those specialized groups be? So one group is uh, anyone who had a previous child with a heart defect or if they themselves had a heart defect. Oh, does that maybe predispose you or up the chances of having a child it if does. you've had it yourself? Yep. Oh, that's so interesting. the general population is about 1% and their risk would be closer to 3 to 5%. Hmm. Okay, so as a mother, I, I'm thinking about that moment of knowing that I've gotten a referral and, and, the, and the terror that's probably involved in that. So what can a woman expect when that kind of a referral is made? So the good news is if there are way more people referred for this test than we actually find a defect. That is good news. So, so, so how does it go? What happens and, and what do you normally find? <laughs> so like I mentioned, majority are normal structural heart. And this test is able to rule out the major scary heart defects that would require surgery. So something that appeared to be funky you, you get a, you know, get a little deeper and you realize that's just a normal structure of the heart. Often, yes. Oh, that's good news. But if it is not and you identify that there's a problem, what kinds of interventions happen at that point? So basically what we are able to do is prepare that family for what life is going to be like after that baby is born and help them uh, interview and meet with their team that's going to be help caring for the, their child. So. They will meet with the neonatologists that may need to take care of their baby afterwards in mm -hmm. addition to the heart surgeons and other cardiologists. Yeah. Can any of that, and this is a question coming from ignorance, can any in interventions happen before the child is born? So very, very rarely. Mm -hmm. um, there are specific heart rhythm problems that can be intervened on mm -hmm. um, by having the mother take specific medicines and there's very specialized centers that will do procedures in very rare cases. Otherwise it happens probably immediately after birth mm -hmm. and and so is that child whisked away and is it that kind of a immediate re response? So there's a wide spectrum mm. of heart defects. Some do, unfortunately, do need to be taken to the ICU immediately and interventions usually yep. happen within the first week of life. Others, the surgeries and things like that can be postponed for a few months of mm. life. In every area of healthcare where technology is advancing what we're able to do, there's always that next frontier, that next thing that's gonna happen. Yeah. What's the next thing with fetal cardiology? So I think, um, better imaging, and mm -hmm. in addition, the 3D aspect. Right now, ultrasound offers the 2D look at things, and we take lots of pictures to try and get it from every angle. Yeah. The 3D will just offer that extra expertise and better pinpointing defects. Yeah, so exciting things happening, yes. and peace of mind, I guess, for parents who may be in the risk categories or have something funny show up. All right, well, if you would like to learn more about the Congenital Heart Center at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, we put uh, contact information on our website. Go to wzzm13.com under the exchange. Good to have you here, doctor. Thank you.